Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Tuesday and Fancy Fold, and it is getting very close to the end of celebration. So sad to see that sale gone. Um, we only have just a little over a week, I believe it is, left. So if you haven't gotten everything you want from that sale, remember there is additional products besides the brochure. If you head over to my blog, Stamping with Linda.com, you can see both the regular catalog um, and the new edition flyer. Um, so today in my fancy fold, I am going to be using the Wonderful World Designer Series paper and stamp set, which is a free item. Now I have already taken that stamp set and used my markers, um, Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green, to color in the flower. And then I have taken the Poppy Moments die and used the gold foil. Now foil paper, um, there's two different um, packages of gold paper that you can get with a $50 order uh, during this sale. That's an add-on. I've taken a piece of basic white and have cut out with the scallop contour uh, dies, the little label dies. Here is that designer series paper <coughs> excuse me, that one matches the Wonderful World Designer Series uh, paper. has flowers on them, but it also has a neutral. I have taken my layering circles and have used another celebration item. This is the silver and gold foil. It's a six by six pack, and I've used that melon mambo and cut out a scallop die. Um, and then I have two pieces of the Melon Mambo. I will have all the measurements over on my blog, stampingwithlinda.com. We're going to start with a standard half sheet of basic white. So this measures five and a half by eight and a half. Sorry, sinuses today um, here in Ohio. It, the weather has cooled down, so I've turned off the air and opened the windows and a lot of allergy stuff going on. So what we're going to do now, this is the probably the first um, creative fold, I called them back then, that I learned, and that is a gate fold. And so what we're going to do is we are going to score it on each side at two and an eighth. Um, but I like to always take and just score one side and fold it over and then bring the other side over to meet it. That way if I'm off just a hair with my measurements it doesn't matter because it's going to butt up and close this card. But this card is a self-locking gatefold. So kind of a cool concept. A team member Marianne Rossiter submitted this fold um, in a recent challenge and I really liked it so I thought I would share it with you today so we're going to add those melon mambos these are two inches by five and three eighths and then we're going to add the designer series paper like so Again, I will have the measurements over on my blog, but just a very simple fold. But then we are going to do that self-locking piece. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in that silver and gold foil paper. Again, you can get this free. I'm going to bring in my Melon Mambo ink pad and my blending brush. We're going to start off the edge of the paper and just bring in some color. So this way you can change that paper to go with any color scheme a must-have because it's very easy to color it and make it whatever you want it to be. So there we have our piece. We're going to add that to our scallop die cut. Again, this is from the layering circles. I'm going to bring in that label 
that I have already die cut and we're going to stamp our greeting. This greeting is from the color and contour stamp set but this white is very sharp color and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that scrap piece of paper and that blending brush back and I didn't want it to be the dark melon mambo but I wanted to pull in that color so coloring your sentiment um, just really helps um, make it blend together more now what we're going to do is we're going to take some dimensionals and I don't want to put any dimensionals on this side because that is going to be where the self-locking piece is going to go. So we're going to go there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to add adhesive down towards the bottom. I don't want to go up too high. And we're just going to tuck that underneath that label. That way we have a way to lock our card. Isn't that fun? Now let's go ahead and add our flowers. Again, I colored them in with my Stampin' Write markers in Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. So we've got our dimensionals. We're going to add our flower like so. And then go in with our gold foil. We're going to use glue dots for these so that we can tuck them up underneath our flower. Let's see if we can get... Well, it's going to be all fingers here. There we go. Oops, that's covering up our sentiment, so we need to move it over a little bit. Well, let's pull it out. Let's try it in this way. There we go. And then finally the second one. And there you have a fun interlocking gatefold. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and maybe what I should do is add the gold foil first and then add the flowers on top. That would have probably been the smart way, but there we've got that. We're going to bring in our brass butterflies, get our pick a tool, and we're going to just add some butterflies down here at the corner flying up to that flower. And once again, just a reminder that you've just got just a little over a week left to get your free products during celebration. Hope you've enjoyed this creative fold and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.